As we have gone through most of the important details with respect to Databricks Certified Associate Developer for Apache Spark, in this lecture, let's go to the details with respect to registration. However, before getting into the registration, make sure you go through technology requirements. You can actually click on this link to go to the provider who actually conducts the proctored exams. You need to make sure you understand all the tech requirements and also preparation instructions before actually registering for the exam. If you don't have appropriate system to actually take the exam, then you might not get the refund so you have to be careful. You need to go through these details and make sure your system is capable of giving the exam. Most of the modern systems, I don't see there should be any challenges, but we never know. It is better to go to this page and make sure you understand whether you can use your system or not to take the exam. Once you go through technology requirements, if you think you are ready to sign up, you should be able to click on register to sign up for the exam. It will take you to WebSSR link. This is nothing but e-commerce platform which will provide you the capability to sign up for the certification exams. Databricks uses this platform. You can see that there are multiple exams with respect to Databricks. In our case, we are talking about Databricks Certified Associate Developer for Apache Spark. You can see that there are two versions of it. One is based on Python. Second one is based on Scala. Based upon the preferred uh, programming language for you, you should be able to click on continue and you should be able to sign up for the exam using that programming language. If you accidentally select the other one, I don't know how it will work. You need to follow up with the tech support of Databricks. Uh, they might uh, provide you the direction. Uh, make sure you don't make those silly mistakes and struggle to reach out to them. Just make sure you observe and sign up for the uh, right version depending upon the programming language of your choice. That being said, once you click on continue, then you should be able to uh, choose the uh, date. Once you choose the date, uh, they will actually provide you the required instructions to actually complete the transaction. You have to enter your credit card information or you might be able to use other uh, payment methods also. Once you go through all the pages, you will understand how to actually make the payment. Once you make the payment, you will be officially registered for the exam. They will send a notification about the further details you have to follow and you have to take it further. Uh, this is how you should be able to register for the exam. The exam costs $200 unless you get a voucher with discount.